Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Julia. I recently just passed my x-ray boards, so I am officially considered a registered radiologic technologist, which is so exciting. I am stoked to finally have those credentials that I've worked so, so hard for. And I wanted to share with you guys basically the main way that I studied for my boards exam. 95% of the time I used Radtech Bootcamp to study. Not only was it the best way that I found to relearn the material that I forgot, but it was also a good way to kind of get myself thinking in test mode. So I'll kind of share with you guys how I used it as well as how to kind of utilize Radtech Bootcamp to your best ability. I know a lot of you guys are curious about the price points. I also asked you guys over on my YouTube community page to ask some questions and just to kind of gauge your guys' interest on this video in general. I don't think I wanna share specifically the score that I got on my exam. However, if you guys are curious, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable sharing my exam score. So if you would really like to know, I would probably feel comfortable talking about it in the comments. Of course, passing is everyone's main goal. So that is why I'm not going to verbally share my score in this video. It's not something that's ultimately important at the end of the day. What is important is that I passed and that I'm knowledgeable in the field of radiography. So I'm gonna pull up your guys' questions and we'll kind of go through that. And then a little later in the video, I'm gonna talk about how I used Radtech Bootcamp personally and then some of the features that, that Radtech Bootcamp offers. I've been talking to the founder and the CEO of Radtech Bootcamp. His name is Ari and he is so nice. I actually had a Zoom meeting with him back in March, kind of when quarantine like very first started. And he walked through Radtech Bootcamp completely for me and he showed me all of the features that are offered on Radtech Bootcamp and kind of the things that people should really be utilizing when they're using the website. But Ari, if you're watching this, thank you so much. He truly is the reason that I passed my boards because of Radtech Bootcamp. Like the idea of this website is incredible. So a really big shout out to him. He is so awesome. So Ari was so nice to offer you guys a discount code. So it is Julia RT and it's 10% off subscriptions and it runs through December 31st. 2020 so if you guys are coming across this video a little bit later hopefully you guys can utilize that discount code and hopefully get a little bit of money off of your subscription so all of that will be written in the description box for you guys to reference so we will get started with the questions so the first question is just finished my first semester when do you think it would be beneficial to start using it it meaning Rad Tech Bootcamp. It seems expensive to purchase for two years time. I started buying stuff right away for studying for boards and some of the things that I bought, I ended up not even really using. I used them for a little bit, but I didn't find that the material was really sticking with me. And to reference those things that I did buy, it was flashcards and books. So I unfortunately didn't really learn the greatest using flashcards and just like a book that you flip through and answer questions i wasn't really learning anything and the knowledge wasn't really sticking with me so i think it's important to invest in your education of course that's kind of why you're going to school and boards is seriously the biggest part of all of this like yes graduating and getting that degree is amazing but you really can't do anything with your degree until you get your registration and you pass your boards. So I think it's important to invest your money into something, but that is just my own opinion. So I hopped on the website and the monthly subscription, which is an automatic charge each month is $33 per month. So I think that's actually a decent price for a month to month. And I see it's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can get your money back. You can cancel at any time. And then you have access to all the videos, quiz questions, interactive images, exam question bank, things like that. So their pricing is listed on the website if you guys are curious i will link that below as well otherwise for a one-time charge which allows you one full year of access it is 230 dollars for one year so a price breakdown of that 230 divided by 12 is 19 dollars a month so yes it is kind of a lot to fork over 230 dollars at one time especially as a student but like i said it's going to offer you the best way to learn the material in my own opinion i seriously learned so much with rad tech boot camp so this is also like a supplemental learning it's not only for boards review it's also useful for people who are in the program so i actually wish that i had rad tech boot camp in my first year of the program because it allowed me to really learn physics i am such a visual person and rad tech boot camp has those interactive videos that i mentioned which i will show you guys a little bit later but that is really what helped me to learn physics and x-ray interactions and so much of that stuff that's just in over our heads most of the time when you just read it on paper. 
So you save $166 with that deal. And again, it has like the 30 day money back guarantee and things like that. You also can access Rattag Bootcamp on your phone and on just like a regular computer. That's kind of my take on pricing. I think it's worth it to invest in your schooling and for any other thing you would have to put money into purchasing something like flashcards. My flashcards were like $50 and then my one book that I didn't use was 80 on Amazon. So, so that right there adds up. Next question, when did you start using Rad Tech Bootcamp? Would it be beneficial to use this during the first couple months of our program or in our last semesters? I started using Rad Tech Bootcamp in, I think it was March or maybe even February. I really started using it though in April. That's really when I like took the reins and started using all the interactive videos, especially since I had more time because of quarantine and we didn't have classes and stuff. So I would sit down, watch the videos, take notes, things like that. I think when you should start using it, it will be entirely up to you and your preference. Like I said, I think it would definitely be beneficial to first year students, but it's up to you when you want to purchase it. But I think it would be mostly beneficial in your last semesters if you wanted to use those mock questions that I talked about, but that's entirely up to you. I personally would have used it when I was taking physics, which was in my very first semester. There's kind of a lot of repeat questions kind of similar to that one. So hopefully that kind of answered your guys' question regarding that. Next question, do you think Rad Tech Bootcamp would help students that are going into the program? So I personally wouldn't buy it if you're not already in the program. Like I would buy it once you're accepted, once you are in the program. I just don't think it would be beneficial to people who are kind of clueless to anything radiography wise. I would definitely suggest starting when you actually are in the program. Why did you choose Rad Tech Bootcamp versus Rad Reviews app? So I actually looked up Rad Review. I really didn't like the way it was formatted. I actually used some of their um, sample questions. And not really sample, but it was like the... I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it was like the trial version of it. So I really didn't like how it was set up. I didn't like the layout of the website. I don't know, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was worth it to have two different study materials. I did read an article actually that it is important to kind of focus on one formatting of questions. So whether you choose one website or another, just to kind of stick with that, that way you don't kind of confuse yourself. Rad Review Easy's questions were kind of worded strangely in my opinion. Plus I was recommended Rad Tech Bootcamp literally when I started the program from a bunch of the second years. Um, a lot of them used Rad Tech Bootcamp to pass their boards and then of course they told us about that and then a lot of the techs that I worked with in clinical, they told us about Rad Tech Bootcamp too. So, big advocate for RTBC. This question was about whether to choose the monthly or the yearly option. She's leaning towards the monthly route since she plans on taking boards soon after graduation. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing what's best for you financially and I guess on your calendar and timeline because if you are taking your boards in three months, it probably wouldn't really make sense for you to have a year's access. So that's entirely up to you. But um, she said that she is graduating in the same program as Nikita, which if you guys are familiar with any of my x-ray friends that also do you YouTube. Nikita is also a YouTuber that is a radiography student, so I will link her channel down below. She is so sweet, obsessed with her videos. Her son is literally the cutest, but she is so sweet. I think it's pronounced Kashia, but that is so cool. Happy to see that you watch my videos. So thanks for commenting. Did you only use Rad Tech Bootcamp or other sources as well? I've been using Kettering, Lange, and Rad Review. So I actually didn't use any of those. Um, well, I had to use Lange for my one registry prep class, but I didn't like the way that Lange's questions were laid out. I thought that they were extremely difficult. I just didn't because I was never recommended them. It's not like one's better than another. I was just never told about Kettering or Rad Review. Rad Tech Bootcamp was just the one that a lot of the classes above mine had recommended. Is Rad Tech Bootcamp only for the state's board exam? Do you know if there's a Canadian version? I don't know anything about Canada's specifications for their exam, so I would assume that it's only for the US exam. I would probably email Rad Tech Bootcamp if you are interested in that. Personally, I don't know information about that, so sorry, I can't really answer your question. Someone asked, how do you practice for the board exam on Rad Tech Bootcamp, which I will show you guys a little bit later in the video here. Some of you said that you had to purchase it for your program, which I thought was really interesting. So someone said to do a walkthrough, which I will be doing later in the video. 
What do you think is the most important part of Rad Tech Bootcamp? Is it the practice mock test that's similar to the board exam or do you think watching the videos are more helpful? So I thought the videos were helpful when I was actually in my program. So during this last semester, this spring semester, I was taking radiation safety and biology and a lot of those videos were super helpful to learn all of the stochastic, non-stochastic, biological effects. So those videos were really helpful for me to learn that. I actually really, really, really understood that material because of Radsec Bootcamp. I personally loved the question bank. So they have the mock exam, yes, but they also have a comprehensive review, which is over a thousand questions. So that is what I used. So I will show you guys that, but those comprehensive questions are in that mock exam. So you can literally take it as many times as you want, but the mock exam is just so you can kind of get the feel of what it would be like to sit for two hours to take an exam. I personally didn't really use the mock exam because I just took questions over and over and over and over again. Those are all the questions. A lot of you guys were asking, was the board's exam hard? What was on the board's exam? Things like that. I guess asking if it was hard is kind of subjective because each person is going to struggle in different areas. I personally didn't think it was hard. Like I said, I got a really good score in my opinion and I'm really proud of myself for the score that I got. Also, you can't share anything that's on the ARRT exam. It's actually an ethics violation to reveal anything that's on the ARRT exam. So can't disclose any of that info, but I can talk about what I use to study. So my dogs are barking. I'm gonna do a screen recording so you guys can kind of see what Rad Tech Bootcamp looks like. And then I'll show you guys the different features and things like that that I used to study. So let's hop into that. So here is what the sign on page of Rad Tech Bootcamp looks like. And then once you get signed in, the Clover Learning is basically the name of the company but rad tech bootcamp is the modules that are on here so as you scroll down you'll see where it says like available started completed and collaborations those are just the modules that you have either reviewed or haven't reviewed and then it kind of shows you your daily activity so it's kind of just a little compilation of everything that you've completed and then you can also see the badges and the leaderboard that is on here and then when you scroll down, you'll see in progress, completed, and bookmarks. I'll go through those here in a little bit. And then down below, here are the other products that Radtech Bootcamp offers. So as you can see, there are CT credits in here. That is nice if you have continuing education that you need to do. So you do have to pay for these just so you're aware, but these are just the extra products that Radtech Bootcamp offers. All right, so first we will start with the in progress section here. As you can see where it says clinical core and tips and tricks, those are the three modules that Radtech Bootcamp offers. So first we will start with clinical and there's actually one in here, but so there's four actually. So clinical is all of the positioning and interactive videos that you can watch for positioning. And then one thing that's really cool is that RadTech Bootcamp offers interactive images. So this will open in a new window, but this allows you to study all of the bony prominences and just the topographical landmarks that you may be quizzed on. So as you can see, you can quiz yourself on these. I need to open my window here a little bit more. My screen is a little small, but as you can see, it does the trick. So you can just quiz yourself on these different areas that are on each imaging. So you can just kind of quiz yourself, which is really nice. I know a lot of my procedures classes, she had a lot of these diagrams on there. So this is really nice to be able to study all of those. So that's the clinical section. As you can see, it goes through head, chest, ribs, abdomen, spine, hip and pelvis, shoulder girdle, upper extremities, lower extremities. And then there's also cross-sectional anatomy in some of these. So if you are going to be potentially going into CT eventually, this is really helpful for learning cross-sectional anatomy. So if you struggle with remembering any positioning or anything, the clinical section is going to be the place to review all of that. So as you can see here, it provides lessons, quizzes, and interactive images for learning. So you can study all of the radiographic um, anatomy and positioning. So I didn't really use this because that wasn't an area that I really struggled in, but in the future, if I ever were to need something to brush up on or anything, this would be a good place to go to. And also, I think this would be really helpful if you are taking your procedures classes because, like I said, it does have the interactive videos. And I don't want to show too much because obviously this is a paid subscription service, but I will just show briefly here that they show the positioning for each different projection. So that's super, super nice. 
And then, like I said, they do have quizzes. So after you go through all of the um, videos and modules and stuff, you can quiz yourself on all of the knowledge that was in here. So I used to take notes on the physics section, which I will show you guys here in a second. So next we'll go on to core. This is all of the physics, computer-based stuff, and the core topics of radiographic sciences. This is the area that I really focused on when I was studying for boards. As you can see here, I didn't finish all of the modules, but that was because I didn't really feel that I needed to study all of this stuff, but there is a ton of content in here, and for each one of these, there is a video that explains everything in detail and it has little diagrams that show you things and again i don't want to give too much away but that is super nice about rad tech boot camp another thing is that you can take notes with rad tech boot camp so here on the left hand side you can click on notes and you can type in whatever you want you can bold them make a list things like that and then it will go underneath the section here so if you wanted to take notes on radiation protection you could go there and then another thing is if you are in an actual module and you want to have subtitles on you can put the subtitles on in English but you can also search a video if you want to look up something specific where like an area of the video talks about a certain topic you can type in that word here and then it will pull up all the times where it says the word and this is a bad example so that's a way that you can search through a video if you are looking for a specific topic if you're coming back to a place so let's say you are just wanting to kind of take a break for a little bit you can also bookmark the spot that you were at so you can just bookmark your page and you can save it that way and come back to it which is super nice and then something also that you can do, another feature, is that you can make a quiz. So let's say I wanted to quiz myself on these random topics, and then I could quiz myself. So that is a way that you can help yourself study. So this is the core section. Like I mentioned, it's all of the physics and things of that nature. Here's also another way that you can search. So let's say you're looking for something very specific, like let's say you're looking for distortion. So you could look up any of the videos that have distortion involved in it. I think that's a really nice way to search for something in shorthand. That way you don't have to go searching through all of these modules to find what you're looking for. And then this third section is adaptive radiography, which shows you a bunch of tips and tricks for positioning, things like the air gap technique. That is a new course that they just added, and I think it's really helpful for learning those things that aren't so typical, but things that you still need to know. So this one shows up under completed. When you first get Rad Tech Bootcamp, it should show up at, in your in progress. Mine shows up in completed because I technically have completed the course, but Rad Tech Bootcamp prep is where you can do all of your mock questions. So Rad Tech Bootcamp offers over a thousand different questions that you can quiz yourself on and you can kind of break it down by each topic. So you can do image production, equipment operation, etc. The one that I recommend the most is comprehensive. So comprehensive is the one where you have over a thousand questions. So as you can see, it's 1,095 questions. You can start the exam right away, or you can hit this little icon here and you can reveal the answers during the quiz or at the end of the quiz. Obviously, you're not going to probably sit and do 1,095 questions all at one time. So I highly recommend doing the practice mode and showing the answers during the quiz. That way you can see your answer right away and you don't have to wait till the end of the exam. So you just answer the question and it shows your answer and then it kind of gives some feedback. So you can just go through all of these questions and quiz yourself on them. This is how I studied for my boards. I literally probably did every single one of these questions 14 times, but I truly did this for two months pretty much on end until my exam and I did so great on my exam and this is the way that I was able to quiz myself. So I would do this on my phone, I would do it on my laptop, I would do it in my free time, I would do it when I was sitting in the car waiting to go into work. So I did this so, so much. I am the biggest advocate for this comprehensive section. It's cumulative for all of these ones put together. Lastly is the mock exam, which is 200 of those random questions. It gives you 210 minutes to complete and then it gives you a grade and certification at the end. So you can start this and then it will show you your timer. This one will not show you the answer right away, obviously because it's kind of 
set up like your ARRT exam is going to be where you can't see the answer right away, but you can also mark the question for review so you can go back. So during the ARRT exam, you can flag a question so you can notify yourself later that you want to go back and check that one. So this is a good way to practice for the exam. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same way as the exam, but it gets you in the mindset of being prepared for what possibly could come on the exam. But a lot of these questions really, really helped me understand physics. And I don't know why it just clicked, especially when I started these questions, but something just clicked with physics and physics made no sense to me when I actually took the class. So these questions particularly really helped me and hopefully they help you guys because truly they were so great. So if you ever have an error that you need to report, you can report it here. You can also make the notes here as well. And then as for resources, you can do the frequently asked question that shows you how to bookmark and how to utilize that. It's super nice about Rad Tech Bootcamp is it's pretty foolproof and really easy to understand. So when you do bookmark something, this is where it goes to this tab here. So as you can see, I do have one bookmark here. So that's pretty much all of Rad Tech Bootcamp in a whole. Basically the main thing I focused on was this course right here, which is the Rad Tech Bootcamp Prep. And again, I'll show you guys, it's this comprehensive section here that has the 1,095 questions. So highly, highly recommend using this one to quiz yourself and see your areas that you're weak in. Um, it's okay to struggle in areas and that's the reason that they have a breakdown of the ARRT guidelines and the content specifications. I will link that down below for you guys so you know what could potentially be on the test. Honestly, anything goes with that exam. I will link that specifications list down below so you guys can really get a feel for what might be on it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I said, I do have that discount code for you guys to get 10% off of your subscription if you guys are interested in getting Rad Tech Bootcamp. But I hope you guys do well on your boards exam. Best of luck to you all. And I will see you guys very soon in a new video.